Today we're going to show you how you can get set up using the M5 stack with the Arduino environment. First we'll need the CP210X COM port drivers from Silicon Labs. If you followed our previous videos you should already have those. We'll also need the Arduino editor which you can download from their website. Once you've downloaded the Arduino editor unzip the package and the app will be unpacked. Let's open the Arduino editor now. Once the Arduino editor is opened we need to go to preferences and in preferences we'll need to add a new board manager URL. This link I've posted in the description below. So all we need to do is copy it and then paste it into the URL box. Now that's done, we need to go into the board section in tools and choose the board manager. Once all the board definitions have loaded, we can type in ESP into the search bar and we'll find the ESP32 by Espressive Systems. Let's install it. This package has a whole host of ESP32 based boards including the M5 stack. Once it's installed we can close and go and find the M5 stack core board in the list. We'll also need to make sure the core is plugged in at this time so then we can choose the port should look like this. Now the board is installed correctly but we're going to need the M5 stack libraries to see all of the examples so we can go to m5stack.com and download the second option M5 stack library. It will take us to our github link which we can then download the library from the repository. Now once we've downloaded that package and unzipped it, make sure to drag it into your Arduino libraries folder. It could be in a different location on your computer, but mine is in Documents, Arduino, Libraries. Now those are installed, we can go back into Arduino and look in Examples, and now we see all of the M5 stack examples are there. Let's start with the factory test. Now if we set the M5 stack board properly and also the port is correct, the program should flash straight to the M5 stack. Now we can use many of the pre-made Arduino examples by just changing some simple parts of the sketch. All we need to do is include the M5 stack.h file and then with this line and then any pin definitions in the script will also need to be changed to suit the M5 stack. Depending on which model of M5 stack you have, whether you have the Go or the Core, we can see in the manual which pins connect to where. For instance port A, if we wanted to collect an LED across the ground and pin 21, then we could set it up with pin 21. The pins are clearly labeled on the bottom of the core so you can choose whichever pin you wish to use. So then we add that to the sketch and add the LED pin and we're good to go. All we need to do now, the last part, is to add the m5.begin function. And then we can upload the code. Now let's see the result. There we go. As we stated in our program, the LED is flashing on pin 21. You can test out all of the examples that we've included in the M5 stack examples library and you can also test out other Arduino sketches. When you're done with those, you can also follow the other videos on our YouTube channel that will introduce more functions that we can program with the Arduino. 
And also you can check our documents page by going to m5stack.com and clicking on Docs. Here we'll be updating regularly different sketches and programs and examples that you can use with the M5. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave some comments down in the comments section and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.